Prime Minister, Mrs. May. Theresa May becomes British Prime Minister today, succeeding David Cameron in Downing Street. But she's walking into the biggest challenge facing the country in decades, that of extricating it from the EU. Before that can happen, she must choose a new cabinet from a divided Conservative Party following the EU referendum. She'll be mindful of the need to unite the party and she'll, I think, put together a team that will do the right thing for the country. Um, not an easy challenge, but that's one of the things you do if you're Prime Minister and I'm confident that what we'll see over the next 48 hours as she becomes Prime Minister, and of course you can't have cabinet reshuffles until the new Prime Minister is indeed Prime Minister. Once David Cameron has offered his resignation to Queen Elizabeth, he's handing over to May what some see as a poisoned chalice. Months of gruelling exit negotiations with German Chancellor Angela Merkel and other European leaders. The task of the new Prime Minister, who's going to assume the office very soon, will be to get clarity on the question of what kind of relationship Britain wants to build with the European Union. For Germany alone, we export 800,000 cars to Britain every year. And it's not just us. Every member state has similar concerns. Therefore, we're going to lead the negotiations together in order to keep the disruptive effects minimal for all of us. The economic future of the UK depends on what those Brexit talks produce. But Merkel has warned that free access to the EU's single market only comes with the freedom of movement.